So one of my friends and um, people I work with at Ubuntu, his name is um, Dave Waters, he researched the stat or research statistic on how many young footballers graduate um, academy level at the age of, apologies for that word, at the age of 18, so they graduate at 18 and then how many has a starting place in a PSL team, so out of 500 kids that graduate at the age of 18 from academies around South Africa, there's only one that will start a PSL game four years later. Obviously we're saying at NFD level um, the rules are different so you have to start younger players but at PSL level there's only one, one percent of, of players start a PSL game and that is frightening. It's frightening to know that um, it's frightening and it's enlightening because it shows us the need for education, it shows us the need for good character, it shows us that you can't just have one, um, one goal or excel at football, you have to excel at so many other things, you have to excel at um, developing skills, you have to excel at um, your character, you have to excel at education, you have to excel at um, developing trades or, or work skills that can benefit you after the game. We're seeing more and more uh, when I wrote about this, how um, ex-footballers are struggling to maintain or earn a living and provide for their families. And the Department of Statistics revealed or they um, came up with some stats from 2015 and it sort of separated the wages or the salary that an unskilled labor gets and a skilled labor gets. It's interesting that an unskilled laborer is probably getting paid about 6000 900 and a skilled labor is about 25,000. What makes it even more interesting is that um, if you break it down to color, most people of color, specifically black people, will be earning 6,900. A black man earns 6,900 a month on average. They say black women earn 30% less than that. That is scary. It says that a white male would earn 25,000 rand, 24,900 a month. Colors and Indians fall in between that um, range. So it's so vital that young black men, young men, young women, people, uh, people of color develop or learn these skills, learn um, these valuable work skills, um, have an education, um, excel at education, push themselves in the further so that you don't fall into the unskilled um, bracket. You at least have a choice whether you know whether you become a skilled laborer or not. So if we bring it back to football, after football, like I'm saying, we're seeing so many people that's um, really struggling right now to provide for their families. And if you think about it, if you had a 10-year um, career, you had 10 years within which to develop skills, but I think what football does is sort of keeps you within this bubble, this, I, it's a football bubble where you think it's never going to end and that football is going to provide for you or give you longevity and it doesn't and what happens with many of many footballers, I was fortunate enough that my parents and my mom worked in a factory um, that my mom and my dad put me through and, and that really drove me to get the degree and not I know that doesn't happen everywhere. So when I graduated, when I retired, um, I had something. Be I had something behind me that could help me in the work environment. But that doesn't happen with anybody, everybody. So you've come off this ten, or hopefully, if you're lucky, a fifteen-year career, and you immediately walk into an unskilled labor market. And that is incorrect for me. That's incorrect with so much potential, so much um, opportunities that you had within the game. I think what the game does is, and it's a beautiful game and I love it and it's full of opportunities, but what it does is the sorts of try to own your mindset into just, I'm a footballer and that's it. And I think for many young footballers coming up, you need to realize that football is, is football can bring opportunities but football is not going to save you so you need to realize that it's not an option anymore so my friend uh, Dave says it's not it's not a you can't say education is a plan B anymore it's a plan A 
So you almost have to think about, I'm not going to say education must be a plan and football must be a plan B, but maybe we have to go to that extreme, maybe the narrative has to change to that extreme where we exaggerate that education and character should be your plan A and football is a plan B. Unfortunately, it's, it's reversed where football is a plan A and some, a lot of footballers never um, realize their plan B and it's so crazy for me to think about it because most of the time you have so much time over a 10 year period we you literally train for two to three hours a day and you have so much time to develop other skills but i think football really pulls you into a sort of bubble where it's you become extremely complacent and because there is fame you're getting paid everybody knows about you um you're traveling the country and i think that gives you a false sense of security so my advice or encouragement would be develop a develop other skills develop your other skills because you do have other skills you do have other passions you do have things that you're really good at so while you're playing develop those things find get the right people around you get advice find out what your passions are find out what you're excited about and even the things that you're excited about can give you a career thanks